Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10! We're in double digits, y'all! So today is actually gonna be a really fun day. Don't mind the mess. I'll move that a little bit, thanks. Um, so today, it's actually already 1.36, so I didn't even vlog this morning because I've been filming. So, hence the full face of makeup. Very exciting. I just filmed my Whipping Toast open box, which is super exciting. That'll actually be up this upcoming Friday. So, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Here's a little sneak peek. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There it is. My new baby. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so beautiful and like mega luxurious. Um, but today I'm actually doing some really fun stuff. I am going to a Mall of America in Bloomington in a little bit because we have a planner meetup at three o'clock and it's 1.37 right now. I'm gonna have a little snack right now. I think I'm just gonna eat up. I didn't actually eat any of my like pre-planned stuff from last night. Um, what did I eat last night? I don't even think I even ate dinner last night. I think I had some crackers and I was like, okay, that's it. Um, I just wasn't really hungry. So anyway, but what I'm going to do is I am going to eat up my taco meat, which is right here. And then um, I'm not going to eat a tortilla because it gets like stuck in my teeth. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm just going to put like cheese and lettuce and pretty pretty much like just like a deconstruct, almost like a burrito bowl, but not a burrito bowl. And then I have some like corn chips and I think I might just like scoop it or maybe just eat it with a fork. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just trying to get rid of leftovers. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like it's difficult when you're single because you don't have somebody else to like eat the leftovers with you. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that is what I'm going to do really quickly. So hopefully I will get that all eaten and stuff in the next like 15, 20 minutes. And then I can head out because it's going to take me about an hour to get to my destination. But I'm going to take you guys along with me. I will definitely show you where I am, where I'm, what I'm doing. Um, I may not be vlogging actual people because you know, people get uncomfortable when they're on the internet, but maybe I'll vlog one or two. Just depends on who comes because I'm really not sure who's actually coming today because in the group there's been so many people that have been sick, but it's December, so that kind of isn't shocking because it's just that time of year where everyone's tending to like get the flu and get colds and stuff. It's just, it's not good. So anyway, I'm gonna go to the meetup, but first let's make some lunch. Okay, so here's kind of my breakfast lunch. I didn't actually eat any breakfast this morning. Um, and then I'm going to take some just corn chips and eat it like that. I might get bored of the corn chips and just eat it. Doyle's excited. He's excited, friend. He's been smelling the meat. Actually, I have his meat over here. Doyle, let me go in. Sit down. He's got his meat, but he wants to eat as well. He's been kind of like picking through that by week. Okay, go ahead. Okay, well I am going to eat this and then I will be on my way to Mall of America. Okay, so after all the traffic, it's like lightly snowing out right now. So um, there was a ton of traffic on the way here. So I'm about 20 minutes late, but that's not too bad considering I live like a long ways away. So anyway, um, I am parked at Macy's, but I'm parked like super far away because it's like holiday time at the mall. So. Let's go in here. No, I got the grilled cheese and tomato soup. This looks delicious. Looking at my neighbor's food now. Woo, you can eat your food. I'm just, I'm just getting the good stuff. Remember when these are like really popular? I don't understand. Don't understand. Are these back too? I'm so confused. Really? Really? ended the planner meetup. Like I said, we were at Crave. I took a little bit of footage, but I didn't show anybody's faces. We were talking about like my YouTube channel and stuff, and it just didn't seem like the general consensus was, yes, show my face. So 
sat that one out, which is totally fine, but had some fun, had some good conversation, and then I decided to go shopping. I showed that I was at Urban Outfitters, but which, by the way, I totally don't understand, like, all that, like, early 90s, like, mid-90s stuff is coming back, like, the Champion, and what was the other one that I saw? Oh, like, that Tommy Hilfiger stuff? Like, I don't get it. I mean, they're great brands. I just don't understand. Like, I should have kept myself from the, like... 1994 I'd totally be in fashion apparently but maybe it's like more hipster I don't know because um Urban Outfitters is kind of hipster you know what I'm saying anyway well right by Urban Outfitters is H&M so I stopped in there and I didn't really take any footage in there because it was really crowded first of all and second of all H&M is always so hot and I am one of those people that either runs like incredibly hot or incredibly cold so like I'm never really like comfortable I'm either like one or the other so by the time I was done browsing around, which I didn't actually spend that much time in there, maybe like 15 minutes, I found a sweater, which I'll show you in a second. I went to check out and I'm like, hey, can I get a larger bag? Cause I like to put my like jacket, which is right here in a bag as well as my purchase. And the girl, I mean, I'm sure she is just like a temporary employee maybe, I don't know, was like super, super snippy and rude and just said, well, I am only authorized to give you a bag that fits your purchase and that's it. It's like. Okay. And I said, well, I apologize for asking. It's just always so hot in this store and now I'm roasting. And even then she just didn't say anything. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. So I bought something. I should have just walked out, but whatever. Um, I bought one sweater and I bought it because I don't really have a sweater like this. And I thought the color was really unique. Um, it's like a dark chocolate brown sweater. Obviously, like the little tabbies you don't need to see. Hold on, let me let me let me tuck it in a little bit. So yeah, I thought it was like a really nice chocolate brown. It's like doesn't know what to focus on. But it's a little bit longer. Like the arms are long, obviously. It's like a long sleeve sweater. But it's like a little bit longer in the body, which I like because I love me some LuLaRoe. And yes. Leggings are pants, okay people? Get used to it. So I decided to get that. I, I did pick up like an oatmeal color too, but honestly, the oatmeal color, I don't know. I mean, I feel like the oatmeal color, I liked it, but I felt like I wouldn't actually like grab for it in my closet. So I decided to not get that. Um, you know, and that color is a little bit more accessible, I feel like, you know, kind of everywhere. But I haven't seen a lot of the dark chocolate browns this season, so I was excited to pick that up. And it's a basic, and y'all know I love me some basic stuff. So, yeah, I'm looking at my phone because it's like freaking out at me. So anyway, um, it snowed a little bit when I was in having dinner with the girls, so this should be an interesting ride home. It's not even like snowing a lot, it's just kind of like, coming down like really softly. So hopefully the main interstate is cleared. I'm hoping. Um, it actually took me quite a while to get here. I think I said that earlier, but it took me quite a while to get here um, just because once I hit downtown Minneapolis, it was just like stopped. Um, mainly because there's a lot of people on the road and also because there was just a little bit of snow coming down and it wasn't even sticking to the road at that point. But I'm looking out here and it looks like it is sticking to the road just a little bit. And this is just like, I'm in like a parking structure right now. So if it means that there's only a little bit on this section, which isn't, I mean, it's widely traveled, but it's not so bad. That should mean that hopefully the main interstate should be good to go. So anyway, all right. Well, I think that is the update from here, but I am gonna get home and I will probably check in with you guys when I get back. So yeah, this is my current situation. Driving in downtown Minneapolis. Sorry if it's a little shaky. So this is gonna be the best view of Minneapolis, even though it is super, super foggy out because of all of the darn snow. But yeah, usually this view is like super duper pretty, but it's late at night and it's foggy. So sorry if it's a little bit bumpy. The road is kind of bumpy because of all the uh, snow coverage, so yay. So driving downtown is not fun in the snow and it never is fun anywhere, really. Okay, well I'm gonna check in when I get home after all of these snow shenanigans. Ugh. 
I just got home from being in the car for two hours. <laughs> that took me a long time. Um, but anyway, I am going to end out the vlog here. I am not going to do too much tonight. I've got some things to put away. I need to put away my new sweater as well as unpack my bag. I just brought my planner and a couple of other things to show people. So um, I actually brought this, which was quite a hit. This is the new Erin Condren sticker book. This is the new monthly collection edition two. Um, my affiliate code is down below. If you want to sign up, you get a $10 off coupon. I get a $10 off coupon when you place your order. If you wanna do that, it's totally fine. But it's like gorgeous in person. Like, it's hard to show. If you go to my Instagram, I showed like a detailed uh, little video a couple of posts back if you want to take a look. But it's gorgeous. The foil is awesome. Um, I know I've had problems in the past with the Erin Condren foil, but this one is really, really nice. So I think they've got their like processes figured out now, like their quality control. But this one's really nice and the colors are so much better, I feel like, than the first like original one that actually doesn't even exist anymore. I'll leave the info below if you wanna check it out. If not, that's totally cool too. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching day 10 of the Vlogmas. If you have any questions, make sure to post them below and I'll get back to you. And I will see you tomorrow for the next vlog. Bye guys.